Carl and Lou here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBell.com for sure. And it's track by track time. It's making a debut on this series. It is the experimental folk music band made up of a wide array of members. Mm. Uh, it's Highlung. Mm. It's Highlung uh, who do music based on texts and runic inscriptions from Germanic people of the Iron Age and Viking Age and all this other wild and wonderful ancient stuff um yeah this is high lung hopefully familiar with them they are a unique band mm. uh do not fit in any particular character certainly on a metal band certainly on a rock band certainly on a pop band yeah. uh i just think they're one of those that stand alone but can then feature on a number of festivals yeah. and shows in their own unique way do you know what high lung means no i found out it's a german noun which means healing, healing in english oh i like that mm-hmm mm-hmm so there you go. Wanted to add that in. I like that. One. We're going to be talking about Drift, which is a time recording. 2023, July 2023 is their latest mm -hmm. album. This was released on August 19th, 2022 via Season of Mist. So it's almost a year old. Mm -hmm. This was my first full high long experience. I know of the band, I know of the music, I know of the look. And I've always liked it because, hey, it's easy music to like. Mm. But I wouldn't necessarily say I love it. And I don't love it because not everything works for me. Mm. And that's the problem I often find with bands like High Lung, is that, oh, cool, this is a really interesting, ambient, atmospheric track. Mm. The next one is not. Yeah. What does it for me? I'm not too big on the historic aspect of what they do and mm. the elements of mythology and stuff like that. Um, not because I don't find it interesting or anything like that, but because... I don't really have the desire mm. to also pull out a history book at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah, there was you know? one where I looked up. There, there was there was a couple where I I've written up. words about based off, you know, um, I wouldn't recommend this to a lot of people who like our kind of music. I'd say mm. at best, try one track. If you're intrigued, carry on. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the thing from, you know. I don't know how I got into them because I listened to, I think I listened to Wardruna first because of the connection with Vikings. That's why I found Wardruna. Mm. And then it was like, we well, might also like High Lung. So I kind of went down that. There's a whole and, genre, yeah, a yeah, whole collection know. of bands yeah, on this style. Yeah, there's like this. Absolutely. Um, but I've kind of just gravitated towards the two main ones for me at the moment. But well, I'd say High Lung, yeah, definitely up there's one of the bigger ones, yeah. names-wise. Yeah. Do you? I said I like this band and didn't love them. Do you yeah. love love them? Yeah, love them. Yeah. Mm, okay. I am so excited that we get to see them this year. Yeah, we should say uh, part of the reason we're covering this and why it's coming out before it is set up to come out uh, before uh, Arc Tangent. It's because right, Arc Tangent. I'm on a headliners, and that's an opportunity for us to see them. Mm. I'm not, as I said to you, I'm not promising I'm going to watch them all. Yep. I'm going to give it a go. Uh, hopefully I'll be captivated and interesting, but if I find myself getting bored, there's another band on another yeah. stage that I will definitely go and check out. Uh, but I'm going to make sure I'll watch some of it. Mm. I hope to be captivated. I expect yeah. to be. Yeah. I expect to be. Because uh, that's what I think is really important. I can't put this way. I can't imagine Highland ever playing at Down or Bloodstock or whatever mm. at three in the afternoon. Mm, no. I just don't think it'll work. This is a no. tent jobby. It's darkness. It's got to have that vibe. Mm. You know, It's got to have the atmosphere. It's got to have the visuals to go with it. I feel like it must. And I, I just want to have a nice crowd to watch them in because my, my biggest thing is, is seeing one of these kind of bands. Like and someone just standing there talking their way through it. And seeing, yeah, people just not being respectful of it because I want to be immersed in it. I don't think you'll have that problem. I think if, you're, if you, I think if you've gone to see High Lung, you, you're, if you're there on curiosity, you'll watch one or two songs and then fuck off. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you're there to see them. I yeah. think it'll be quite like that. It'll be an experience. But we are, of course, track by track time, going to talk yeah. through the album. Starting with Asja. There's no, there's no, there's no denying that you have to be in a certain kind of mood to listen to High Lung. That's mm. what I thought because I actually reviewed this album uh, last year mm. for the site, and I think I was in the right mood then. Whereas this time round, in a track by track, I think I struggled a bit more. Oh, really? I actually had to give oh, okay. each track a couple of times to mm. get my words together. Um, I think you have to immerse yourself within it. You can't put this on, I believe, and be doing something else that takes your focus away. I understand the whole background listening, mm. but I feel like if you want to understand it and write about it and talk about it, mm. you have to almost give it all its attention. Yeah, my this is my walk along the Thames, walking to work. Mm -hmm. So walk along the Thames, it's this kind of music. So yeah, continuing with Asja, if you go and expect something metal, you're going to come away disappointed. This is folk music. It's dark folk at times, but mm. folk nonetheless. The opener is a strong showcase of all of that. Mm. 
It's got a really captivating primordial feel. The atmosphere curls around the ankles and the female vocals are haunting. I do like this as an opener. I, I, throaty start, drums you can hear the intake, every intake of breath, and mm -hmm. I love that in songs. Okay. I love that. I don't know if people, I don't know if other people don't like that as much, but I really like that. Cause Depends like, on the band. I've heard it sometimes and I didn't like it. I can Baroness do it quite a bit. Yeah, I can yeah, it. okay. I can hear the breath and I'm like, oh, I really like that. Yeah, okay. It's a great combination of the voices. And I really like, I don't think it's a violin, but it sounds like a violin. Oh, there's so many, so many unique instrument, instruments like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah you need is, studious it, stuff here. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm breaking it down into that's what it sounds like. It's a great opener, it immerses you in. So if I was to recommend a track, I think I would recommend. As no, as well. it wouldn't no? be my recommended. Oh. But we'll do the three okay. at the end because yeah. that, that's. Uh, I'm yeah. saying it's. I agree, it's a good opener. Yeah. Mm. But I think the real strength lies in the next one, Anoana. Mm. Uh, An Anoana. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. That's pronunciation things so. there. Yeah. yeah, this is a banger. Mm. A truly exceptional example of how High Long's folk can infect the senses. The monotonous beat, the enigmatic melody, and those vocals. A spectacular piece of music that creates a myriad of images in my head. Mm. I think that's what it is with this band. It's, this is good. It, there's nothing, I don't, there's There's a few, I think overall there's a few elements where it does sound, a, no, no, it doesn't actually, like, sound like it's um, generated by computers and stuff. Uh-huh. So I'm really taken in to it. Right. So like, like you said, you kind of, it creates images, it, it doesn't make you feel like modern and it oh yeah. for sure yeah for sure i can i buy all of that i mean this is a track that's got a good video to go alongside it as well which is immerses yeah. you even more yeah which is why like i said i listened to it on walk along the thames because it's fantastic just walk along by the water fantastic okay um yeah so they have a great way of blending the voices and the instruments Yeah. Like there's no kind of stop start. It's like there's this going on and then something else drag takes your attention and um I really like the end part and the swell and the breathy voice under it all. Yeah. Just love it when it comes to that. I don't understand the word I'm saying. It winds yeah. me up. You know in the Shawshank when they say about the opera music and he's like I've got no idea what that woman was singing about. Right. I loved it. Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's a good comparison. Yeah. Okay, tenet. A thirteen plus minute track mm. is always a big ask. But this is high long. And this is Tenant, a track that begins in mystical fashion with the different voices repeating a mantra. Then it transitions into something with more chilling folk instrumentation, but determined vocals. The track grows in power, the volume and impact of the instruments getting stronger, getting stranger, but still quite captivating. It is undoubtedly a very challenging listen. Mm. Incredibly layered and taking its time, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I see. I did tell you, it's a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. I think um, there's yeah segments that need could be trimmed a little in yeah. this, yeah. But the horn starting off, I'm like, that just got me when it starts okay. off that horn from the crows. I'm like, okay, right, I am involved. Okay. And so it just goes through so many different layers as well. Like you just, so you're taking on a journey. I think it might ruin it if I understood what they were saying. No, I, I mean, because, it it, well, you can get translations if you really cared that much. Yeah, one of them I did look up for a, yeah. for a translation. Um, but yeah, 13 minutes is a bit. It's a big ask. Yeah. It's a big ask. It yeah. really is. Of course it is. Yeah. Uh, focus alone, particularly in this time of music, is, mm. is always going to be challenging. Uh, but it is followed by Urbani, a much shorter change. It was Highling, go for ambience at first, aiming to put you... I said Highling. Like, that's the thing. Highling. No. Highlung. <laughs> go for ambience at first, aiming to put you in a location before a marching beat and chant comes rampaging through. A fascinating listen. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this is a battle song against the blood pumping when they kind of you can hear the you can hear the shields banging mm -hmm. at like the creak of the wood. That's what I really like that they focus on that. It's not oh we're focusing on a, a, an effect or a noise. It's like we'll have that microphone so close to like recording the yeah. the shields banging. And you yeah, it does. It does get you like if you're walking I walk a lot quicker to this one. It just gets okay. Me, yeah, I, I I can see that coming from. This is, I think, and probably maybe the best example of why I think like this album isn't going to be for everyone though. Yeah, because I, that's like a lot of people don't want that. They want to hear a riff. Do you know what I mean like like yeah, you know? Yeah. It's weird because I, I I do get what people say. Oh, I don't. It, I want a riff in it, but it's like no, no. Sometimes you just don't. You just something that's not 
No, and of course you don't. Yeah. Just like sometimes I want to hear video game uh, soundtracks or I want to hear uh, the Lord of the Rings sound. You know what I mean? Like, I completely yeah. understand all of that. Mm. Um, I do worry though that I do worry, and I'm not sure. I haven't run into many yet, so maybe I'm presuming here. But I, I, I suspect there's probably a subset of Highland fans who are quite, quite obnoxious about this. Mm, very, yeah, like like you just authentic. don't get it. Yeah, yeah that kind of thing. Yeah. You know. Anyway, yeah, Kelton Trower. Continue to genre defy with their mind-bending and mysterious sounds. This one is all about speech. The ambience of a crackling fire, mm. which I did like, marching feet and horns in the background before the shout goes out and it all dies away, except for the speech. It continues, another voice joining in. You're being told a story here and background effects add to that. This is the sound of history, violent history. Mm. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. Like, yeah. I don't know, I didn't, I don't, I don't know. I, I know you know what he's talking about he's it's, talking about battle he's talking yeah. about loss and overcoming um, it's a poem about the Roman conquest of the Celts in Gaul right Gaul I don't know how to say it properly so yeah when you look it up someone's done a side by side translation which was quite nice that's kind of cool so yeah when you go down the, the wormholes of Reddit you're like oh cheers cheers yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're all kind of cool kind of nerds thanks nerds mm-hmm. <laughs> um I think mean, maybe this is another one that's a little bit long because it is. Like a, it's like an audio book almost. I'm it, like, it is. And it kind of takes me away from, oh, I just want to hear some like twinkly, twinkly effects. But I know that's not what it is. It's, it's not that. And that's how, you, how I have to think of it as well. It's why I didn't get frustrated by it yeah. because I was kind of like, yeah. I know what I'm listening to. Yeah, it's just, I hope it's not one you hear live kind of thing. Ooh. I don't think you would get this one live. Like, I have no idea what high. We have no idea what? we're going to find out, but you're right, man. If this was to come out and start being like a song halfway through the set and I'm half cut and I'm already a little bit distracted, it know. might be the killer for me. I might be like, you know what, man? I'm, uh, I'm going to go see enough. a band. I mean, who, yeah. well, let's not, let's not, let's yeah. not presume. Yeah. Let's not presume. Uh, Nesso. The light and airy start is welcome after the last and it does begin to develop and it still feels extremely relaxing. I'll bet with a sense that it could transform into something more dark at any stage, which it does. A haunting and cold gloom that oozes emotion. The vocals arrive to lead us through the murkiness of it all. The vocals mm. end up being the showcase here for me, hitting incredible highs as the tracks go- track goes on. The My vocals on this one are amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. Really yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, just her voice just soars. Yeah. You know, it's probably, the, the it's, to me, the, the track in the album that shows the power. Yeah. The, the, yeah, uh, where, where it goes know? to as well. Yeah. It's never like shrill, because sometimes when voices go higher, they can go of course. pierce, and you're like, oh, no, it's just a great vocalist. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. so that, I think, and it's songs like this that make me go, okay, I can't wait to hear this in the elements. So, yeah, really excited for that. Um, and the violin, oh, it's my favourite track. Okay. Like, I can't like. I know you said all the words about it, but yeah, I've got this on like so many different playlists now. It pops up on so much. If you watch these track by track videos up to this point, you know you know how these go. Depending on who they are, I am here to give you the breakdowns. You are here to say <laughs> I like that track, and that's and it's, that's it. That kind of thing. Likewise, you end up with me and Brendan. That's why I track my tracks. I track my tracks to 10, 10 to fifteen minutes. Mine and Brendan's are nearly 30. You know what you, I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah, just the different. Yeah, because we write, because we have to write it. A lot of this stuff, I was yeah. like, I was comparing it to my own review. Yeah. Now, weirdly, my review for the album was very different to how my track by track was done. My mm. review didn't actually specify a specific track. Mm. I just talked about feelings all the way through it. Mm. And that's what the review, and that's sometimes how I, I write a review. Um, and it felt like the right way to do it. So I couldn't, like, go to my review and go, oh, I'm just going to copy what I wrote there. Mm. It didn't mention any fucking tracks. I just wrote yeah. about the album as a whole. I mean, so I. I I, yeah, I when I listen to this, when I listen to songs like Nesso, mm-hmm. when people say oh, songs that are good for you, like your mental well being, right? Stuff, you see that because you because it's not grounded in modern life. It does your brain just goes, oh, this is. There could be no a better positive words than that. Yeah. If you could, if you can say this song is good for your mental health yeah. or your personal mental health, yeah. there could be no better words and said than that. I yeah. think personally, it speaks volumes about the track. I mm-hmm. think it's great too. Uh, Bustless band. A transcendent and dramatic experience like no other. Mm. Imitated but never replicated. This is High Lung. And this track is as weird and wonderful as anything. Yeah, I put one of them march into battle. Mm-hmm. So you're, always, you're you're going towards something. You're on this journey with them. Mm-hmm. Like you're... Yeah. I really like um, 
the drums are amazing and it's another live experience where you feel like I, you're I think this could be good I think yeah they'll dare I say this could work as a good opening track yeah because coming out to. yeah you want to get everyone hyped up yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely all right penultimate track uh Nikal transporting the mind to an ancient place and time adding weight to the stories they tell through tracks like this creating a hypnotizing listen it's such an unpredictable experience mm. that even finding the right words to talk about this sort of track again i find difficult mm. it's very poignant and it's kind of epic here and there i say it's like a hymn mm -hmm. um i really like the voice voice on this one it's a peaceful feeling it's like say like the culmination of like like post battle yeah. when people are kind of like looking at their losses, trying to like move on and stuff. That's what I kind of get from it. I know I can see it as a progression. Okay. And this one's kind of you're taking everything in and you're praising the gods that you're still here, what you've got left, kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And last but not least, Marduk, not the band. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it is the end. Yeah. If you made it this far, I think if you've like gone through the entire mm. album, you're likely completely in love with this. I mm. think if you made it this far. But I also completely and utterly understand if you feel the opposite. If you still make this far and we're like, no, this is none, you know, mm. I don't like this. I think it can work either way. I mm. think it's a love or loathe it mm. completely all the way through. Uh, it's not for everyone. But I think a track like this is probably one that can at least hit the middle ground for both sides. Mm. Um, I find it hard to believe most find, won't find something of value in this particular track. It's hiling at the most mysterious and haunting. It's storytelling brilliance. It is a fascinating ending for me. slow pace the twinkling from the previous song leads in nice and naturally mm -hmm. so it follows on it's like it's this is really into the nice in track there's a slightly sinister edge to it yeah i thought there's like a darker part to it and i was like oh, i quite like that after the, the one before it feels like history isn't like it's not the end it's just it's the end of this particular story but stories to come to come yeah like like you've won a battle or you've, or you've you've fought back the invaders, but it's hey, really easy. there'll be another one. Yeah, there'll always yeah. be another one. Yeah, which is which I reflect quite nicely. Mm. Um, it doesn't reach a crashing finish; it just ends, and I quite like that. The story isn't finished yet. Yeah. So it's like oh, there's no real definite end to it or dramatic flourish. It's just yeah, we're finished. It's imaginative. Again, some people I have, I think I put my hands up. I probably have moaned about that in the past with other bands, but it felt like it needed it. This band, I don't think it needs it. Okay, that's my opinion on it. Okay. It is an intriguing album. It's an intriguing, mm. intriguing piece of music. And they're an intriguing band. Mm. It come back to the same thing I've said several times throughout. It's not going to be for everyone. It may mm. not be for you. It is at times for me, other times not so much. I'm still not 100% sold on the genius aspect. Mm. But I do think there's something unique and special here. I think... Um, Metal fans need to be careful about trying to claim ownership, even though High Lung Summers do seem to feature in our world more than any other. Mm. I don't think any one particular genre owns this band. I think just let them do their own fucking thing and hopefully they'll get great success for that and continue yeah. to get good success. But like a lot of unique stuff like this, it kind of does get lumbered in with us because you know we have a lot of folk, dark, folk, folk and stuff like that tied into it. And you know visually, it, it has a metal feel almost, so yeah. to speak, that kind of thing. Um, but we've got to choose three tracks here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be too far from each other. Who are we? You can go first. I've got Azja, Anoa Noah, Nesso. Okay. Two out of three. Anoana, uh, Nesso, and Marduk were my three. That is Drift by Highland. Where do you sit in this one? Do you think they're overrated? Do you think it's nonsense? Or do you think they're geniuses? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?